That's me. I'm the co-host and producer, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming to you from Dirty Jersey. We hope you guys had a good week. Please remember, we are here for you. This week's episode 66 is brought to you by White Hot Guava. White Hot Guava. Interesting, interesting choice of sponsor, Drew. Hello, Evan. How are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. Good. Doing okay. Very relaxing episode to start today. Yes. It is midday. We're recording. It is midday. Midday. It's pretty fucking sweet. I gotta say. The sun is still out. My fucking loser kids are in school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stupid kids. Dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> can they spell their own names? They can. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a start. It is. It's a start. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, you know, another day in paradise. Got it. Another day in paradise. I'm just doing what I can. Yeah. You know? Okay. Enjoying the time that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get like a terminal diagnosis or something? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All the stress hormones building up. I don't know what could happen at this point. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm planning some things for the future. Okay. And Good for you. But it's... It's going to be all good. Okay. I'm good. just in this state of... Ooh, that reminds me. Keep talking. Keep talking. Uh, no, just in a state of woe. State whoa. of... Uh, mm. uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I wake up and I, I go... I do know uh, what you mean. Uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm putting on Twitter that we're recording, so make sure you follow us on Twitter. Twitter's dead, dude. Didn't well, you know? Oh, yeah, I, know. I guess it is kind of controversial, me even mentioning the Twitter, but... Um, yeah, we check it. We're on there. We're using Twitter. I'm tweeting stuff. I'm tweeting Yeah, a lot's things. happened since we last spoke. Yeah, we'll talk about on some the of air. that in the news. I'm talking about that. A lot of crazy shit with Kanye again, and fucking Twitter, and Elon, and uh, Alex Jones again. Like, <laughs> Alex Jones again? Just can't, they just can't leave us alone. Like, I don't know. He refuses to be put put to the side. Who's that? Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Well, all of them, really. I'm kind of retarded. He's kind of retarded. I'm kind of retarded. That will forever be one of my favorite clips. Um, Yo, is it okay to say retarded again? I've been hearing it more frequently. So I guess it's like a, it's a battle or like some sort of, it's like, I mean, it is sort of controversial. There's still proponents of it that just don't like it, you know, don't use the word, don't appreciate it. They'll still find it insensitive, you know? I don't know why. I just find, I take liberty using it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I haven't. I don't know. I want to say I grew up with it, but that doesn't make it right. I no, <laughs> no. But like, I mean, I don't I, know. I used to use it frequently, and now I, I never, I never really say it. But I've noticed more and more people coming out and just saying it. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, passerby. That's my dog. The dog yeah, out. you guys can hear the dog barking right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. There you go. Sometimes, you know, that's what having a dog is. So if you want to call in while we're recording, uh, the uh, FaceTime is I-F-E-I-F FaceTime at Gmail, not Gamamel, which I put in all the time, by the way. (laughs) Gamamel? You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. So turn on notifications on Twitter. You'll get the tweet whenever we start recording, and then you can FaceTime me right now if you want to while we're recording. This will be funny if anybody calls in. No one's ever called in, so. Call in. (laughs) FaceTime us. FaceTime us. Uh, Check out our link tree, linktree linktree.com slash IFEIF. You can find all of our old episodes. Um... Uh, programming note, sorry for the delay. It's been a little while since we recorded last. Fucking shit cocky mushrooms. It's been shit fucking cock. busy, dude. <clears throat> yeah. Been, how was well, your th- happy Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving? Yes, my Thanksgiving was pretty good. I don't know why I'm talking good. like this. All right, go ahead. Well, it was pretty good, you know. I, I know sat down uh, and you. 
I ate a lot of food. What's your okay? Let's talk about it. I mean, a lot of podcasts are doing the whole favorite this and top five that, but what's your favorite all in all at a Thanksgiving meal? What's your number one thing you have to have? Like your your number one. All of it. No, shut up. Shut the fuck up, Evan. All Just pick, of it. Pick. What's your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving? Your number one. You can. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be butter. It doesn't matter. But what's your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving? Um, Out of all the cliche shit that's on the table. This is a tough one. I really enjoy stuffing. Yes, me too. Stuffing is, is a contender. Okay. It would probably be battled out for, for stuffing and like a really good mac and cheese. Okay. Like a bake, a, a bake mac? Like a baked mac. Mm-hmm. But also sometimes I'm floored by a good plate of mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes are good. You know, like... You like lumps? Doesn't matter. Okay, go ahead. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Lumps don't make or break it for me. Okay. I'll be honest that. with you. I'm good on that, by the way. Yeah. Um, like Steve's mom makes yeah. some great potatoes. Okay. She puts like bacon and cheddar cheese oh, in them. The yeah, it's fucking. It's like a what loaded baked potato, but it's a mashed potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's like a big mashed oh, baked potato. The ones that my girl's family made on Thanksgiving had like sour cream in them. Yeah. It was yeah. Like, oh. I've seen that before. So. That's but some it, good it, shit it, with it, some it, chives. You ever put some chives in there? Uh, sh- they might have. Okay, so I, what's your answer, Evan? What's your answer? What's the number one? I don't have one. It would be battle. It's a battle between the sides, though. Like okay, that's fine. Turkey, you're, like you're going to have it. It's going to be down there. It's but, like four or five for you. Yeah. It's down there four yeah, or five. Yeah. Okay. But like it's a battle between the sides. What, well, know. can you give me an answer? I want to say mac and cheese. Okay. All right. That's fine. So mac and like, cheese is like your number one go-to. I, lo- I like mac and cheese. Okay. Like good right. mac and cheese. You're on the cheese. clock there. I was, like about to fucking end. I was about to end this podcast if you didn't give me an answer. I'm just kidding. I wasn't going to give you an answer. But <laughs> <laughs> um, What's yours? What, mine what about is that? so. If you say cranberry sauce. No, 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 no. Reach no, no. across I'm, the table I'm not even and punch like a, you. I'm not even a big fan of cranberry to begin with. Like No? Uh, no, no. I don't really like it very much. I like um, it. I, I I could I could have it or I could not have it. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people are big fans. A lot of people live and live and die by fucking a, a cranberry can shaped fucking concoction that sits on the table. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. not I don't care either way. Uh, but my answer would be stuffing. It would be probably I prefer box over homemade. And it has to have gravy on it. So it needs to be stuffing that it has enough texture that you can put some gravy on it and it's good. Okay. That's what I like. like I said, I'll go box over homemade. I do fuck. With I don't the mind. Top. I don't mind shit in my stuffing. I don't mind. Have you ever had stuffing muffins? Have we talked about stuffing muffins before? Stuffing muffins. Yeah, my ex's family used to make them. Oh, they're like you fucking. Stuff, you put it like you put stuffing in a muffin and you bake it and then you eat it. You put it on your plate. Is it a muffin or is it like it's a, a muffin, muffin shaped stuffing? Clump? It's a muffin that's made of stuffing. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In the, shape, <laughs> in the shape of a cupcake. I yeah, yeah, I can picture it. Yeah, yeah. It sounds stuff, delicious. A stuffing muffin. And you just dump, you can dunk it in like gravy. Gravy, yeah. yeah. Oh, give it to me. It's pretty good. It's yeah. not bad. It's it's good shit. But regardless, stuffing, gravy, that's my number one. Stuffing with gravy. Yeah, I mean, the gravy's a must. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. On anything, mm-hmm. the gravy's a must. But yeah, thanks, kid. I've. I've I love Thanksgiving. You love I lo- Thanksgiving? I love the good eats. Yeah, like the yeah. family time can be awkward. Yeah. But it can also not be. Yeah, you, yeah. we've talked about that a little if bit. If some people go to Thanksgiving ready to like fucking kill their yeah. their family. Yeah. And that's why they have a bad time. <laughs> you know I, I mean? had three Thanksgivings. You had three? Yeah, so uh, because my wife and I both used to work on holidays a lot, um, we started taking the day before Thanksgiving off and celebrating on Wednesday. You that, did say, yeah. Yeah, so we did that this year. It's been like a tradition now. My wife has off on Thanksgiving now, but it doesn't matter at this point. We've already started to do it, so we celebrate the day before. Mm-hmm. So we celebrate the day before, and then I had to work Thanksgiving this year. I worked the morning. And yeah. I will, you and I, we don't talk about our jobs too much. We work in a customer-based industry. Yeah. And I will say that all the customers that I saw on Thanksgiving where I was working were so nice. It was like the first time I can remember in a long time where everybody was like, thank you so much for working. Oh, my God, are you okay? How's your day go? Everybody was so nice. I was like, wow, this is wild. Like, this isn't bad. Yes, faith in humanity restored a little bit. Just a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. Um, so then I had to work, but then my mom and dad brought me a plate while I was working, 
right? So shout out Pops and Grammy. Shout out um, Pops and Grammy. Yeah, so they bring me the plate, and uh, and I don't eat it at work, but I eat it at home while I'm catching up on football, and like I stuff myself before I went to sleep. So it was great. It was a nice Thanksgiving, regardless. I had to work, mm-hmm. but I ate a really good, really good dinner. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and then a couple days goes by, and then since we celebrated the day before with one side of the family, we celebrated with the other side of the family on Sunday. Nice. And we watched football all day, and we ate tacos. And then we considered that a Thanksgiving instead of like a normal Thanksgiving. A taco Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes. Nobody can tell you when you can celebrate Thanksgiving. You know. Who won the football game? What football game? The hey, Eagles. All of them. Eagles won this week Pretty again. sure, yeah. Yeah, so cool. they're 10-1. and one. Ten and one. Yeah, it was Ain't a good game. Some a shit. good game. They played uh, Sunday night. It was a good game. Nice. Yeah. Eagles are on fire, man. They are. They're doing well. They're still going. They got the one loss out of the way. What are you gonna do? You know, just now you got to just continue to get better and just try. And hopefully they can make a push. You think they're a uh... big Eagles fan? Yeah. You think they're uh... go birds? You think they're gonna be something? Sorry, what? <laughs> um, their ceiling is the Super Bowl. Their ceiling is getting there. It's a matter of whether they can beat the Chiefs or the Bills or the Miami Dolphins or whoever comes out of the AFC. They could beat anybody in the NFC, though. They already beat the Packers. They could beat the Buccaneers. I heard they. I heard they scared Aaron Rodgers. I he got he, hurt. He like broke. He hurt something. Broke going, his thumb, right? Uh, I yeah, I guess. That's I what know. they're saying. I heard he shit his pants. He got taken out of the game in the third quarter. Because he had poopy in his pants. Poopy in his pants? <laughs> it's always poopy in his pants. Why is it always pants. poop? <laughs> Where's the poop? They were wearing, wearing yellow pants, so you might not have saw it. So you might be right. Pooping See? under the cover at night. Pooping under the cover at night. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers shits his pants. Yes. Taken out of the third quarter. <laughs> the third quarter. The third <laughs> Anyway, hell yeah! <laughs> How was the 1975 show you went to? Oh man! Oh yeah! We haven't even we seen, have... dude. It's been that long, man. We have so much to catch up on. I have another show. I went to a show too. I'm going to tell you about in a minute, dude. It was fantastic. Yeah, like it was great. Great, like uh, mind mind bending, altering, mind altering. Uh, maybe not that far, mind, but oh, it okay. was cool. So, was like, it your favorite. 1975 show since you've ever seen them. Or? So I've only seen them twice. I will say the last time. Yeah. I thought was. <laughs> How do I say this? No, that was no. A funny pregnant pause. Because I thought I thought the whole experience the first time was better. However, the performance this time was better. If that makes sense. Say it again. Like they sounded better, and they like were better. This most recent time. But the last time was a cooler, like, okay. experience. Yeah, that makes sense. Keep talking. But, are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? But, yeah, it was sick, you know? I had a lot to drink. They had the golden monkeys. No, they had sour monkeys. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And every time I drink sour monkeys, shit gets weird. Why? Just because they're such high alcohol content. It's like 13%. I had this phase coming back. Sorry, sorry, folks. Had to check that can. Oh, I had to check that camera. I had this phase a few years back where I was drinking Golden Monkey. So and did I. I. Would, what I would do is, it's really a very thin line. Okay, seriously, with a full stomach, there is a thin <clears throat> line. I would buy a six pack. So they would still sell it in six packs back then. It'd be bottles, you know, brown bottles. They still do sell them. Sell Good. Them in six packs. And. You would drink one, and if you ate, if you had a full stomach, you'd be like, oh, this is like a normal beer. I'm good. I'm feeling a little toasty. I'm feeling good. Start drinking the second one, and then you'd be like, okay, now I feel it. <laughs> yeah. And then you drink three, four, you're drunk, right? Hammered. If you drink that, it's that it's in between fourth and fifth. If you have, if you drink five or six, you're going to have a bad time. Right when you cross, when you cross that line between four gold monkeys and five, you're not, you, there's a chance if you drink See, six, you're not going to remember going to bed, at least. That's what would happen to me. See, for me, and I would drink them, like, during the football. The fourth one. The fourth one. The fourth one is it for me, but yeah. it's exactly that. Yeah. But, yeah, you drink them during football. And mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I, and it's just, like, they're great. They're, they're really good, but it was just so much after a while. Yeah. And they would also start to make me more hungover. Oh, yeah, over, dude. Over time. I had two or three 
by myself. Mm -hmm. And then we all kind of split one because mm -hmm. we were all drunk. Yeah. And we, we, were, we split another Golden Monkey and a Liquid Death. Oh, that's water. That's water, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, liquid death. Nice sponsor. job staying hydrated. <laughs> you have to. What do you yes, mean? you're right. It, well, well, we weren't just drinking. Right. And so, like, I was fucking drunk mm -hmm. by the end of it. But they played, they played great songs. Mm -hmm. The set was awesome. That's good. The set design was awesome. They came out. And they all like went to their like stations yeah. respectively. Yeah. And they all had They'll come little, out and like wave. Yeah, they all had like little little lamps like that, and they yeah. had, like flicked them on, yeah. and it illuminated the stage, and it was cool. It was really cool, yeah. and it was a great time. Yeah. I got a bootleg shirt in the parking lot nice. for twenty bucks. Nice. Sorry guys, but their shirts were their shirts yeah. were forty five dollars. Oh my god! And their god. hoodies were eighty dollars. Yeah, I know. I heard. And the designs were yeah okay. Oh my right. god! Forty five dollars for a t shirt. For a t shirt. For a t shirt. I saw the price tags and I looked, saw the design. I was like, well, like if I really like it, like yeah. I could pay forty bucks for a shirt. True. If I really like it. Yeah. I didn't really like it. But the dude in the parking lot yeah. who printed them himself the day of the show, mm -hmm. he said twenty dollars. <laughs> That ain't bad. When he woke up, he's like, "Who?" He like rubbed his eyes. He's like, "Who's playing at the? Who's playing at the at the Blue Wells Fargo?" So he's like, "Oh, what? Nineteen seventy-five. Let me put that." There in. we go. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Got it. Print. Hey, this is the T-shirt we're making. Run today. these. Yeah, run these today. All right, cool. And here goes Evan's twenty-dollar bill. <laughs> right into the mix. <laughs> it was funny though because <clears throat> we got. I like flagged him down. And I was like, I need two larges. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he goes through the pile. Mm -hmm. He, like, throws them on the hood of the car. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. small. Small. Yeah. Large. Got one. Yeah. Large. And he, like, throws a discard pile. Uh, and I'm like, that's too large. And he's like, small. <laughs> small. <laughs> small. Extra large. I was like, you got two larges, bro. Like, right. just give me that large. He's like, I only have another extra large. Oh. And I was like, sure, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Give me the fucking shirt. Here's $20. Get yeah. the fuck out of my face. <laughs> but uh, it was cool. Nice. It was a great, great was night. Good, good time. Good night. How many people good did you go with? It was me, Steve, and Kate. Okay, nice. Yeah. So just, two, two perennial guests of the I'm Fine, Everything is Fine podcast. Yeah, it's my squad. Steve and Kate, yeah. It's my squad. Squad dingley. Nice. And it was cool. It was a great night. I'm glad I made it there safely. I'm glad I made it back safely. Made it home safely, snuggled in your little sheets. Yep. Got little, home, I said. Little PJs on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> I did. I just watched that the other day. <laughs> I did too. It's all over. I feel like Disney I forgot Plus. something. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> My daughter was infatuated with watching Home Alone. She it's was a great like, movie. she's like, Daddy, oh my God, is that real? And she's like asking me all these questions, like, honey, it's just a movie, relax. No, honey, it's real. I remember when I was her age watching that movie, it felt the same way. I was literally the same age when that movie came out. I'm pretty Take sure. notes. Yeah. Take notes, kid, because guess yeah. what? When we, leave for, bandits, yeah. when we leave for Christmas, yeah. this is how you're going to have to defend yourself. Yep. If we forget you. That's right. We're not going to forget you. <laughs> But just in case. But just in case. Let me show you how Apple Pay works. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to capitalize a password? <laughs> Do you know how to get to the shop, right? <laughs> yeah. It's right, right there. <laughs> Whole Foods is closer, actually. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Hysterical. Oh, man. Uh, but I, I was saying earlier, uh, I went to a show. Uh, yeah, who did you see? Uh, the wife took me to go see Tim Dillon. I mentioned on the last episode, I'm pretty sure. But we actually got to go, and uh, it was great. It was a blast. Nice. It was a really good show. It was more than we thought, actually, oddly enough. Um, it like was price wise, or uh, no, no. It was well. It was plenty of people there. Uh, the seats were pretty comfy. I don't think anybody sat really in front of us, which was nice. Um, so I could like see everything, you know, and uh, my wife could see everything. Uh, but it was like a it was like a three comic show, and then they did like a podcast like a live live podcast at the end it was really just all three of them like just chit chat chatting okay. and like 
talking about like hot topics for like a minute or two. It was it was good. It was interesting. It was cool. It was fun. Uh, Giannis Papas. Giannis Papas opened yeah. up for Tim Dylan. Nice. Stole the show. I did like it. Do my wife? She wouldn't. She couldn't stop laughing. Evan. I had to like, like I was like fucking shut up. Fucking shut. Up. She just she would not stop laughing. If you know anything about Giannis Papas, he has this bit where he talks about. Um, Two airlines, a uh, uh, left lefty, uh, like a like a progressive airline, and then like a right wing conservative airline. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna talk, do his shit, but that's the bit, and it's, whew, it's so funny, it's really good. good. And there's this good. Op- there's this one opening line to it, and my wife could not stop, and she couldn't stop. She like literally was crying, and he kind of stole the show a little bit. He was way. Nice. More on the nose, funny than Tim was, but Tim was good. Tim had some really good stuff too. He has a new hour. It was I, really funny. I'll have to check out Tim Dylan. I don't know him too much. Mm-hmm. I did like Giannis Papas. The only reason why I said that Giannis bit is because it's out. It's free on his YouTube channel. So yeah. if you want to check it out, check it out. When uh, I I finally saw a video come mm-hmm. across my TikTok feed. Yeah. That was the girl that got the beer thrown at her or the mm-hmm. high noon thrown at her uh, at the bar yes, that we went to. Yes, yes, at Uncle Vinny's Comedy mm-hmm. Club in Point Pleasant, mm-hmm. New Jersey. I thought that was a rather interesting watch. Yes, it was interesting. Yeah, she was just trying to make a joke, and then she was trying to get out of it and like do a spin and try and to. And like, she wouldn't let her. She's trying to get out of it and go back to the show and like, oh, I'm in the middle of something here, and then all of a sudden, bam, beer, and then she chugged it. I could tell you voted for Biden. Yeah, Jesus Christ! It's like shut up. You're at a comedy show. Fuck off. Seriously, what is good? Um, you had a clip you wanted to show me, didn't you? I got a few. Yeah, I'll play one of them right all now. Right, hit it, hit it, hit it. All right, should we put something on? Yeah, let's put on a movie or something. All right, let me. Just turn on my PlayStation. Huh? Yeah, it's just, it's not a smart TV, so I just get to like Netflix and stuff on the PlayStation. Oh, I get you, I get you. All right, let's see here. <laughs> you play Elden Ring? You know Elden Ring? Yeah, my brother plays that a lot, I think. He's like a big gamer. I love Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, you're opening it? Oh, sorry. I, my finger must have slipped. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but, uh. Oh, you don't mind, do you? Since it already opened. You know, watching someone play is like the same as watching a movie. Um, <laughs> it's true, it is. Yeah, it okay. Is. I mean, I Twitch. used to watch my brother play a little bit as a kid, so I guess it could be fun. I've been stuck on this boss for so long. You think I'm about to beat it? Uh, you got her. Come on. I still haven't beat that boss. Damn it! God damn it! <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, uh, I'm just joking around. Sorry about that. Oh, thank God. Yeah, don't call the police or anything. <laughs> you know what? I didn't come here to watch you play video games or even a movie for that matter. What if we did some other stuff? What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to get me killed again? I... Look what you did! Are you joking again? No! I wasn't joking the first time either! Oh, oh God. Yeah. That's funny, man. And that's J. Coat on TikTok. That's which... good. One of the most relatable TikToks I've ever seen. <laughs> that was funny. Um, we, just, we were talking about it while we were setting up pre-production. Um, <clears throat> uh, I asked your roommate, Steve, you know, popular Steve has been on the pod before. Like, Yo, bro, do you, like, watch Twitch? And he, I was like, he's like, no. I was like, well, do you know anybody who watches Twitch and, like, actually watches Twitch? He's actually like, watches? He's like, not really, no. And then you don't watch Twitch, right? No. I don't watch Twitch. I was like, who the fuck watches Twitch? <laughs> it's like, uh, who are all these people making all this money off of people like on Twitch? Like, what the fuck? Fucking anyway. Losers. <laughs> no, no, it's not losers. No, I'm sorry. I take it back. It's just interesting. It's like, what? who's consuming? Like, what? who consumes it? You know, who is the Twitch consumer? I guess it's, I guess it's a big generation younger than us. Probably, That's all it is, yeah. You know? A bunch of kids watching to 24, other people play video games. 18 to 24 year olds. Or watching girls hang around in pools. Right, and just stand there and bounce and stuff while they're playing. No, I'm, I'm not taking away from any of the girls on Twitch. I'm just I am. What do you mean? What? <laughs> oh, no. Well, listen. Hey. <laughs> 700 people in the live chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. I'm in there. I watch them all the time. I know you are. I see you in there. <laughs> anyway, um, don't look at my email. Um uh, I was going to tell you before, again, when we were doing pre-production, uh, you know, that I got uh, these, uh, you know, apparently I got skunks on my porch. I don't know. <laughs> I got skunks. <laughs> Have you heard about this? <laughs> Do you know about this? Skunks on my porch <laughs> at night. What? What is this about? Uh, Have you guys God. heard about this? <laughs> <laughs> They're big. They're big. I was coming home from work. They're black with a white stripe on their back. Yes. They're huge. Yep. I was coming What's home. What's going on? <laughs> I was coming home from work the other night, 
and there was fucking in my little you know enclave that i live in there was two fucking skunks right on the sidewalk right where i was trying to walk into my house did you shoot them no, I panicked and I ran away real fast because I didn't want them to fucking spray me with their fucking stinky juice. They want, yeah, they piss everywhere. Well, apparently, I'm my assumption, and I, I'm you know this is very uh, you know not naive of me, but I, my assumption is that when they get cornered, they fucking spray shit like if they feel like they're in fear of their life. But so That's when what I I've heard. they heard me, they saw me, and they started to started to like scamper away, and I fucking booked it. I was like, I'm out of here. I don't give a shit. I'm going. I'm gone. The complete yeah, I'm opposite going the way. Other way. I will stand out here for 45 minutes if I have to, and wait for them to leave before I'll fucking get sprayed, dude. It's the worst when I'm walking Savannah in the morning before yeah. work, mm-hmm. or really just any time. Yeah. And we see one because mm-hmm. she like wants to go fuck with it. Yeah. I remember now. This was uh, tied into the pot a little bit. I think I told the pot. I think I told the story. I can't remember if I did or not. But we had my friend Mitchell on the pod before, and he talked about uh, working in the cannabis industry in Colorado or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, same Mitchell. We were growing up. We were in middle school together, and this motherfucker gets on the bus, the school bus. We pick him up in the morning. The sun hasn't even risen yet, and this guy gets on the bus. And it smells like a skunk. And I'm like, it's fucking skunk. What the fuck is that smell? And Mitchell goes, my dog got sprayed by a skunk last night. And now we all smell like skunks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It had to be very traumatizing for him. But, yeah, he was like, who knows, I don't know, 13 or 14 or something like that. I don't know. See, that's what I'm so afraid of. Yeah, and that's what I was afraid of. What that's That was a defining moment for me, too. I'm like, God, he's, he didn't even get sprayed. His dog got sprayed, and he smells. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God. Because you can't let the dog in the house after that. No, they tried to clean it. I, I can't remember what all the details, but, yeah. Anyway. So I'll still remember that for the life for my life, me. And when I saw those two skunks on my fucking just by right by my patio when I was walking home late at night from work, I'm like these motherfuckers. Steve so now, hit a skunk one time. In now his whenever car I go out on the thing, I'm like looking before I go out. I'm like, what the fuck? I got a picture of them. I, I Where are they? I I I got a picture of one, and I'll I'll fucking I'll put it on the video. Put it on the video right here, right, right here. here, right here. You see this big ass skunk? It's right there. Can I hold it? Yep, that's it. You're gonna hold it. Let's see if your video skills. Keep up with this. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it does. <laughs> I'm not that good of a video editor, Evan. <laughs> we'll see. It's gonna slowly slide off the screen. <laughs> That's fine. Oh man. Anyway, fucking skunks. Skunks so, on my porch. Skunks on my porch. There's so There's skunks, much skunks on my porch. Well, that's Come a good, on. That's a good Christopher Walken. That's pretty good. I am Chris Tuffer. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, oh, what was the name of the what? sketch? I don't like bringing up, I think sometimes bringing up Saturday Night Live sketches can be cringy. But, the cowbell? Uh, but he, no, 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 no. He did one, he does one called The Continental or something where he plays like a creep trying to get a woman to come into his room. Come on. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I don't think oh, so. Oh, you got to look that shit up. I will. Oh my God, it's so funny. Get out of town with that. Get out of town. Get out of town with that. I mean, come on. I was on the show for years. <laughs> this is how you do me? <laughs> he was also in one of the greatest movies of all time. Pulp Fiction. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe Dirt. What was I just watching? What? I think I, I watched Joe Dirt 2? No, I watched it with either Kate or Steve, maybe even both of them. And I was like, this is like a prequel to Joe Dirt. What was it? But I cannot remember. Easy there, Tiger. They got video equipment on the table. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. I just can't control myself. I know. Could you imagine if I just flipped this table? That'd be fucked up, On air? No, that'd be fucked. My computer, the energy drinks. You'd waste two high noons. Why would you even do that? No, one of them's empty. Oh, just you'd waste one high noon. Why would you do that? It's about to be empty. Yo, fucking high noons are <sighs> they're bangers, dude. I've I've love them even more now. I just drink like I could drink like four of them and like just go to bed. It's great. It's wonderful. Yeah, they're nice. You don't gotta drink. They're you know, nice. You don't gotta drink a bunch of them. Well, it's you don't gotta drink and like feel like you're a fucking piece of shit the next day. Sometimes you do. Yeah, I guess maybe. Don't mix them with anything. You mix. You motherfucker. Yes, you do. Oh, well, yeah, you do. Well, yeah, you do. So the day after Thanksgiving, right? Don't tell me you don't. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just fucking with you. I was 
hurt. And, but I didn't drink high noon. So. The day after Thanksgiving? Yeah. What did you drink at Thanksgiving? So to start, mm-hmm. I had a vodka cranberry. Oh, I got to tell you what happened to me. Go ahead. Vodka cranberry with Ooh, a splash nice. of lime. Oh, yeah. Cosmo, you're close to a Cosmo there. I want to be closer. <laughs> I want to make out with a Cosmo. (laughs) It was delicious. It was fantastic. Oh, my God. So I had that to start out. And then by the time I finished it, it was dinner time. And I was like, you know, for dinner, I'm going to switch to red wine. Yeah. And I don't know what kind of red wine it was. I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I just saw the label. It had a skeleton stabbing itself, doing like seppuku on its own stomach. (laughs) Seppuku. So I was like, this is a badass looking bottle of wine. Yeah. And I killed, like, the whole thing with <laughs> Kate's mom. She Good cracked another you. one, and we killed, like, half of it. Yeah. And I, the next morning, I felt terrible. Whenever I mix wine with <sighs> anything else, it's no bueno, dude. I went to Last time I went to Disney World three years ago, I mixed beer and wine. Oh, my God. It was the worst decision I've ever made the next day. Mm-hmm. I, was in the, I was at the fucking, one of the resorts, just, like, fucking yakking in the fucking... I had to... <gasps> I had to work 5 a.m. the next day. Yeah, I was just and throwing I, up fucking sh- like fucking uh, I was fighting sangria the all over the place. I was fighting. The, I was driving to work, and it was just like. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Where, where are my textilers going? Why is this road so fucking shitty? Oh, God damn. That's just me. That's just me, baby. That's just um, me. When uh, this Thanksgiving, I was like all prepped and ready to go. And like, uh, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to drink. You know, I asked my wife. I was like, are you driving? She's like, yeah, I'll drive. Like, all right. Yeah, fuck yeah, because we had to travel. Like, not far. It was in, in town, but still we had to drive over there. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to bring some booze. So I brought some booze. Bought a bunch of high noons. Bunch of flavors. Good shit, right? Loaded up. Ready to go. <laughs> so. Happy I, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I downed three of them, dude. I pound three of them in like an hour, maybe. Maybe an hour. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fucking eat. I'm ready eat to go. Fucking food. I'm ready eat, to go. eat the turkey <laughs> with the stuffing on the side. <laughs> with the gravy on the stuffing. Anyway, so then my wife, she's just fine. It's totally my cool. wife. It's totally my wife. It's totally cool. Not a big deal. I'm not mad. She has a glass of wine. She's like, I'm going to have one. No big deal. I'll still drive. Okay, okay, cool, cool. She has one. And one, and then someone's like, oh, let me, like, top you up. Okay, yeah, so it's, like, one and a half. And then by the time she finishes that, she's like, I'm just going to have another. And then I'm like, <laughs> I, like, got to my, I went to go crack my fourth drink. I was like, how much are you drinking? She's like, you're going to have to drive. I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> like, slam the high noon on the ground. <laughs> I didn't really. I'm just kidding. I did dump it out, though. I didn't know what else to do. Flag like, on the yeah. play. What like, do you mean you don't know what else to do? You <laughs> drink the high noon. No, nah, I didn't. You, we you were opened gonna, it. Listen, we were going to be there for a while. And we were going to eat, but I didn't want to drink anything else after she told me she wasn't going to drive. I was like, all right, I got to stop. I got to fucking stop. So we were there for like five more hours, but, and I was fine. What's she going to do? Perform a citizen's arrest? No, of course not. Of course not. Dre, you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fill my wine glass fast enough, sir. <laughs> For driving while being sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. Thank you, Evan. Stop it. <laughs> With that shrimp hat. Show me your shrimp. My jumbo, sh- my jumbo shrimp. My jumbo shrimp. I love this hat. This is a great hat. Anyway. Speaking of the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, um, me and the kids and the family were all taking a trip, right? So we were all gearing up to be uh, driving. We were going to drive. We are going to drive the kids from New Jersey to Florida, which is about 20 to 24 hours, depending traffic. It could take as little as 16 if you fucking book it in the middle of the night or whatever, but uh, we weren't going to do that, and we got the kids. We are going to have to stop numerous times. Anyway, you understand. <clears throat> Logistics were scary. But we were still going to do it. We are going to do it. We we're, were just going to do it. Recently, I don't know if you know this or not, but airline prices have dropped drastically. They've come down a lot in the last six months. And uh, we decided to now book a flight for the family because looking close enough, it was just, you know, cost efficient enough now to do it. So we did it. You just cut a 20-hour drive into a two-and-a-half-hour plane ride? Correct. Yes. Cheap as hell, dude. We rolled our we rolled our rental car into the booking. Mm-hmm. Cheap as fuck, dude. Nice. Cheap as shit. Nice. It's like 
sixty percent of the cost of what just airfare would have been six months ago. It's like wild. Okay. With a rental car included. Okay. It's wild. So. We have to book a flight. Yeah, but here's the thing, dude. I'm fucking. I don't know. I know you're not a. I know you're not a parent yet. But, it's very. I'm yet. like fucking. Yeah. Yet. Ooh. Checks fucking ovarian calendar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm fucking nervous as hell, dude. I got a lot of anxiety about flying with my kids. I, I hate like, flying in general. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it, but usually I just, like, sit there and just whew, bear and grin it and just, like, keep my anxiety inside, and I just, like, stand there and, like, you know. I just everything's fine. I'm fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I go up, and then I'm that like. That loud rumble is normal. I get up there, and I'm like, <laughs> I got to come down. Yeah. In three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I try to I try to doze off and rest if I can help I, I had Kate drug me up. Yeah. I think I talked I've about con- it, though. I've considered taking drugs. I know family members who take drugs. I've heard some stories. But I feel like if I took enough drugs to make me feel good, I would be, like, out of commission by the end of the flight. Yeah. You know, like, tired as hell and, like, ready to go to sleep. I mean, it was fu- So, like, I was zanned okay. out when we went to Disney. Yeah. Uh, beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. And when we got there, I was still like. I was zanned out. I was still just like. <laughs> Costco, bro. <laughs> like we got to the hotel and I'm just like following it, Kate. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> Honey, hold this. Okay. This, this is place looks nice. Like pitter patter over like your feet. Like your yeah. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the stu- at the all the stuff they have in the walls. And- yeah. This is great, man. This is great. This is cool. Yeah. And then it's like, this where are we so going? so much fun. Because, like, we got there at, like, noon. We're going to see Mickey all right. And we couldn't check in until 3. Yeah. But the hotel's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, we'll hold your bags. Like, right. Go do stuff. Yeah. So we went to Animal Kingdom. And I got there, and I was like, uh, this is cool. This is cool. I'm like, is that the Rainforest Cafe? <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, my God. So, yeah, dude. Oh, I'm God. in favor of that. Yeah. But they, it wore off on the way back from Mexico. I think I remember talking about it. Yeah. Because we, we got caught in the rain. Yeah. Like, we can't land. We got to circle the fucking airport. So you're like, you're about to go through like the most tense part, which is the descent and the landing. And you're and like, I'm just, and it's wearing off. We're just going in circles. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'm yelling at Kate. I'm like, don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me, bro. I'm. I'm sensitive. Uh, uh, that was good. That oh, was that's nice. a good one. Thanks, bro. Hey, what's up? Thank you. And now, I don't know. Your sweater. <laughs> yeah, you like this? <laughs> I like your sweater, yeah. Looks nice. Thank you. You're got, welcome. It's very me. It's very you. It's very me. What is the brand? Patagonia? Patagonia. Yeah, sponsor me, Patagonia. I'll fucking wear your <laughs> shit. <laughs> right. This is what I wear for podcasting. <laughs> Patagonia because my door's got a little crack and it's a little chilly in here right now. So this is my Patagonia. But it's a little too chilly in my I'm not, home. I'm, I'm, not take, my Patagonia. I'm not taking this to the top of the Andes Mountains in Chile, okay? I'm just chilling here in my fucking crib and I'm podcasting and I want to wear a Patagonia shirt. You know, when you cool. want to save money on the heating bill, <laughs> you just buy, a bunch buy of this hats. overpriced fucking Patagonia shirt. It's great. Overpri- hang on, hang on, hang on. We're trying to get the spot. It's fair, okay? Don't worry about what he said. It's fair. It's fair priced. Fair I got priced. this as a gift. Great so quality. I wasn't... Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, okay. You so it does, it's, it's all good. Anyway, yes. Uh, hold on. I got a clip. I had a weird childhood. My dad was a strange dude. Didn't really know how to be a dad. Didn't have a dad himself. So he'd just take me to the movies all the time. <laughs> and I was like, what are we going to go see? Lion King? Little Mermaid? We did not. We didn't see the movies a child wanted to see. We saw the movies that a recently divorced 46-year-old man wanted to see. I saw Primal Fear. Sex, Lies, and Videotape? You bet your ass I saw it. I was like, dude, I'm not even old enough to operate any one of those things yet. Seven? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Seven. I was eight years old, and I saw Seven. <laughs> now I'm like, I hate Disney movies. I can't relate to them. I made the ju- I jumped over a cliff. I'm on the other side now. All my friends are back there. They're like, do you, you want to watch Lion King? I'm like, what's that about? Rape in the Catholic Church? <laughs> I 
I'm watching Little Mermaid. I'm like, where the f*** is Richard Gere in this? <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, that was Zach Toscani. Um, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but that's how I would say it. Anyway, uh, yeah, very funny bit. He's like, where's Richard Gere in this? That's fucking funny. That's nice. a good bit, yeah. Anyway, he's a stand-up comic. He had a bunch of dates or whatever. I don't know, but uh, I'll post the shit up on the front on the page. Hell yeah, that was good. It was. That it was, was very. It was pretty funny. I like that. When that, I, like at first, I was like, yeah, a little cringy, and I was like, no, no, he's got it. And then like, bam, he like hit it. I was he really eight hit years it. old, and I saw a seven. <laughs> yeah. When he said that, then I started to turn for me. I was like, all right, this is a good bit. Like that movie's it's a, crazy. That movie's at twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> I believe him too. Fucking wild, man. Anyway. Is that why he looks like Charlie Manson? Yeah, he does kind of look like Charlie Manson. If you see the guy that looks like Charlie Manson, that's him. Um, fucking uh, in a couple days, or like in a, uh, two weeks, I guess. Two weeks. Avatar 2 is coming out. Finally. It's like three hours and like fucking 95 minutes or some shit. Yeah. And uh, uh, James Cameron yeah. gives you his permission to piss. During the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. but I didn't was, see that. That's funny as shit, I though. saw something come out where he was like, <laughs> I don't care how fucking long it is. Like, yeah. you, you're allowed to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Get up and go. What a pretentious but also awesome thing to say. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> it's like... You can go fucking take a piss if you want. Just go piss. How are you going to say that... And like, no, I'm not, I'm not hating yeah. nor loving the... <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right, okay. That, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to keep that in there. That was wild. No, uh, no I can't. Nobody's okay. gonna. Okay. Nobody else is gonna hear Evan's that. Fucking things are Nobody playing. else is gonna hear that. <laughs> what were you about to say? You're about to say you don't want to hate something, and then start playing a clip about. That's Kanye why I thought you hit the that. Juice or something like that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, okay, go ahead, I'm, I'm not either hating nor loving yes, okay. the three and a half hour runtime, right? Right, yes. But, like, I forget what. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how are you going to say that yeah. everything in this three and a half hour runtime is important, but then say you can leave for however long it takes you to take a piss yeah. and wash your hands yep. and come back and get comfortable and be like, what did I miss? Oh, you missed so much. You missed a pivotal plot moment. But yeah. I will be seeing it in theaters. Okay, so what if said. we did this, right? What if we partnered with the MPAA? And you know how they do rating systems for movies. What if we did like a piss rating, right? <laughs> and what it would be is down in the very bottom corner of the of the film, it would be a it would be green, meaning that if you wanted to piss right now, you could piss. And then if there's something that's happening that's pivotal to this to what's happening, you know, you if it's maybe, not filler, it's going to be you yellow. You might not want to piss. If it's the be very beginning, it's going to be red. And then, like, if something like a new character is introduced, it's going to be red. If something happens, it's integral to the plot, it's going to be red. And then as, like, you go into, like, maybe a montage where it's not that important, it kind of shifts to green. And you know, like, I can go piss right now and come right back and not miss too much of the movie. So I like that. Why don't I we like put that. that shit together? And we'll we'll propose it to the MPAA, and it'll be a three colored system. It'll be a piss meter. We'll be able to screen every movie that comes out in the major market movie theaters, and then we'll be able to just give it a piss rating, and it'll just be called PR. And every and you know how like you go and it's like Dolby surround sound, and it's like yeah. fucking five point or seven point or whatever, yeah. seven point one. It'll be like seven point one piss rating, and then it'll be like uh, it'll mean it's like seven of us watched it, and we all gave it a piss rating while we did it. <laughs> Are we recording this? This better be yeah, copyright this is, this is IFEIF. Is Write that recorded. down somewhere so we'll do piss ratings. We'll do piss ratings. <laughs> All right. Anyway. When, when in, in the movie that you're Ooh. watching is it the best time to piss? Wait. Uh, w at any movie in, in general? No, or? that's what we'll do, though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll literally give you a time-by-time -time stamp, like, when it's, when it's green. Green means go. Green, green means, means go, go piss. When you see this. Means go piss. Go piss. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, exactly. We got the car. Write that down. Copyright that. Copyright. Get, get our lawyer on this. IFEO. <laughs> Hello, yes. Real expensive, really great lawyer. Yes. We got we an idea. We got an idea. <laughs> and we're coming to you. That's it. You love it? Yes. Okay. Great. I would love to sign for $20 million. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. Anybody else that steals that idea is liable to for suing for $20 million. <laughs> I hope they have $20 million. <laughs> That's your warning, people. There you go. That's your warning. But yeah, piss Yo, me speaking up. of warning, can you move that water bottle? 
Thanks, doggy. Sponsored by Poland Springs. I guess so. Uh, okay, you ready? Ready for... Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Evan Spelling Challenge. Challenge, challenge. Evan Spelling Challenge. Ready? Go. Spell. Conscientiousness. <laughs> Consciousness? Conscientiousness. Is it not... Conscientiousness. Yes. Like I'm very conscientious of that. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Um, Say con- it again. Con- conscientiousness. Conscientiousness. Not just conscientious, but conscientiousness. Okay. <laughs> ready? Tell me when you're ready. Okay. I mean, I'm ready now. Go ahead. C O N. Yes. And- yes. C no G no C O N S yes E no I <laughs> give one more chance one more chance conscientiousness Conscien- conscientiousness conscientiousness okay C O N S yes C yes I yes O no E yes O no you. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I beat him. I beat the spelling giant. Yes. Oh, yes. my God. Woo. Okay, we're one for one now. Because you won last week. You got last one. Okay. Woo. Conscientious. Okay. Oh, C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-T. Yes. I-O-U-S. N E S S. N E S S. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Conscien- okay. You spelled so, conscientious. Okay, so I still got it. Yes. You just got me mm-hmm. in the mo- Okay. Yeah. All it was right. that. I had to prove that I could spell it. It's fine. It's fine. You did great. Conscientious. I can fucking spell, okay? <laughs> Everybody back the fuck off. <laughs> we shut you, up. When you were saying letters, I was like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Oh, that, got me. that was fun. Felt like you gave me a hangman. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, we should play hangman. Oh, my God. No, we shouldn't. Anyway. Whew. I'm going to pass out. Uh, all right. So that was the Ebbing Spelling Challenge. Hey, uh, I did have some sad news to share. A little bit of sad news. Do you know who Jason David Frank is? Or was? That was the say. Green Ranger, right? What Was the Green was. Ranger. Yeah, he committed suicide last week. Oh, suicide? Yep. At least that's what I've heard. Yeah. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He was Damn. the White Ranger first, and or no, he was the Green Ranger first, and then he was the White Ranger. And then he was also like in a slew of like other spinoff Power Ranger Johns. Damn, R.I.P. You know yeah, who Jason else? David you know Frank. who else rec- recently died? Who? Kevin Conroy, the I'm voice of Batman from Batman the Animated uh, Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of the Batman games that yeah. I really mm-hmm. enjoyed, like the Arkham series. Yep, that's true. That's true. Yeah, he passed away too. Damn. Almost like around the same time as this guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember um, I had to get my tonsils taken out when I was 10 years old. And I remember telling my mom, because I had to go in for it. You know, it was like sort of scheduled a little bit. If I die. No. It was just like, I remember they were just about to debut the fucking Green Ranger. And I was like, I want to know who he is. I want to know who the Green Ranger is. I was like, you got to record it, Mom. Record it on the VCR. Mom, Please record it. Set the record recording. Record the Green Ranger. Set the time correct and set the recording to record the 7 30 p.m <laughs> no, no no it was like it was like right after school it would debut on fox it was like 4 30 or some shit oh. right before the news and uh yeah that was oh man i remember that but yeah so it sucks he committed suicide bum bummer dude damn big time bum bum big time bum bum don't do it don't do it if you want to think about doing it don't do it hey where are we at right now I was, is that uh, us we have 49 minutes yeah oh good we got to go to news i was uh, a lot of news I'll show, you said don't kill yourself i think they got it sorted out what? however you killed yourself no i was driving home <laughs> sorry i'm just kidding i was driving home yes. the other day mm-hmm. and traffic was crazy okay right? okay it was crazy yes and i said what is going on? He's, I should have been done home by now. I still got 20 I'm dang minutes. I'm fixing to be home already. <laughs> I still got 20 dang minutes. And uh, allegedly, mm-hmm. there was a woman threatening to throw herself off of a bridge. Really? Onto the expressway. 
Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. That sucks. Ain't that some shit? That is some shit. Was she okay? Do you know if she was okay? I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. No, it's fine. It's cool. No, it's great. Is that your fucking dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She'll start parking again. Probably. Anyway. But anyway. Um, uh, yeah, you ready to go to news? I'm ready to go to news. Oh, right, let's go to news. Let's go to news. This is Devin and Drew with the news. The news. The news. What we got today? What do we got today? Boys. 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 What do we have to do? The global population is projected to hit an all-time high on Tuesday, reaching the landmark figure of 8 billion people. That's according to the United Nations. That's our had a Roger and ordered Budweiser stands to be less prominent, but now it appears alcohol will not be sold at all. We can now... The World Health Organization has uh. announced that it is phasing out using the name monkeypox for the disease. The move comes after years of complaints that it had racist connotations and played into stigmatizing language. Uh, the virus is now called Mpox. Reality TV stars Todd and Julie Chrisley will serve lengthy prison terms for their fraud convictions. A federal judge in Atlanta sentenced Todd Chrisley to 12 years in prison yesterday, while his wife Julie got seven years behind bars. The Palmer pair has resolved both child custody and property-related issues, according to court documents. Kim and Kanye share four kids, nine-year-old North, six-year-old Saint, four-year-old Chicago, and three-year-old Psalm. Chicago. Yes. Okay, so a couple of things. Chicago. Couple of things. One couple of things to go. Kanye over. was just on Kanye was just on Alex Jones. Okay, he went on InfoWars for like a live stream or some shit. Okay. okay. He went on there, he had a whole fucking mask on. Have you seen it? No. It's like a black cover on his face. Like oh you couldn't even tell it was him, it was like a zip cover. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> the only thing I'll say is listen. The one thing you are doing is at least you're getting those Sandy Hook families paid off faster because of all the advertising you're going to get off of InfoWars. See this? his face? Yeah. See, look, he's got like a face thing on, a mask. Okay. So, look, at least you're getting those families paid off faster. That's okay. all I'm going to say. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't understand what this whole charade is. It's a fucking, it's, it, it's all just like a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of, it's a ploy. It's all nonsense, dude. It seems like it. Anyway, uh, I w- did make the news montage about his divorce. Everybody was getting, giving him a bunch of shit because he's, he's got. He's losing his mind. Yeah, he's going through a divorce. Yeah, well. Kim doesn't want to be with him. She <laughs> no, wants it's to, no wonder. <laughs> she wants to be with somebody like me. Oh, yeah. A skinny motherfucker. She wants that shit. She wants that shit. Um, how about the world population hitting 8 billion? That's scary. That's it's too wild. many. That's wild. too many people. Wild, dude. You know how slow the internet's going to get? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Starlink, bro. Starlink? Yeah. 5G. It's corrupting you. It's making you want to smoke that weed. I'm fucking puffing this shit right now, brother. What up? That's the 5G. <laughs> Suck a down pipe. <sighs> 5G stands for... Five Gorilla guys. Glue Grams Getting Glazed. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. I'm all right. Getting Gorilla Glue. I'm eight billy high right now. Gorilla glue glaze glizzies. Ooh, that sounds really good. <laughs> I'm getting gorilla glue glaze glizzies. <laughs> I'm getting my 5G. On. Hell yeah. Um uh the fuck yeah, there was a story in the montage about the World Cup and they stopped they're not selling the booze now, they're not selling at, like at all. You have to go and it's like Budweiser Zero or some shit. Budweiser Zero. Zero no yeah. alcohol. Correct, the non alcohol. Right, you know exactly. I mean? Maybe it's for the best. Those <laughs> soccer fans get crazy. Yeah, I know. They're I mean out so there here's shouting, the thing. taking their here's, shirts off. Here's what I'll say to you. <laughs> here's what I'll say to you. Okay. Play it on me. As a big fan of, you know, football in America, American like football. N- football de Norte Americano, you know, like that hey, football. Uncle that Rico, football, football of America. Right over those mountains, right over there. Throw them right over the mountains. Um, so anyway, as a big fan of, like, football in America, like football, not football, like soccer football, um, I can watch a game sober. I could watch a game sober. 
Drinking makes it like a million times better. Literally a million times better to it's watch the a World Cup. Football. Like, come on. So if you're passionate about soccer and you watch soccer and you drink beer and it makes it a million times better, I can understand being upset about it. However, though, like I said, as an avid fan, somebody who's going to pay thousands of dollars to go see a World Cup game in Qatar, I would be okay, I guess, watching it sober. You know, that's me. That's what no. I would say. It just sucks that when the rich no. people, it just sucks that the rich people who are there get to fucking drink all they want. There's even like, I don't know, it's just too much. It's, I did see a picture and I didn't really understand it, but I saw what? a picture of two guys that snuck a bottle of vodka into the World Cup. Yeah. They were like, we're out of here. And they're just sitting there chugging mm-hmm. it. And I was like, cool. What they did was they made all these rules and they r- restricted it so much that like you can't, careful where you're sitting. You yeah. need to sit back. Uh, yeah. um, so they made all these rules like you can't. They they won't sell drinks three hour until uh, up until three hours before the kickoff, and then not until like an hour after the game's done. You can only buy it like outside on the pavilion. You can't buy it inside the stadium. It's like a whole fucking thing. It's like hmm. ridiculous. I mean, I get again, not for me. It's there. They're hosting it. Their rules. That's fine. Gonna respect that. That's cool. And like I said, if you're an avid soccer fan. You can watch a game sober. You can watch as many of those games sober because you really enjoy the game. So yeah, yeah, that's my stance. I mean, but again, booze fucking booze makes sports a million times better. Dude. Yeah, it does. Are you kidding me? Literally, a million. There's nothing, nothing better than pounding a few bros. God, when you start that getting that buzz, and then your team scores, and you're like, Yeah, let's go, let's go. Woo! Sorry, I'm good. My bad. Jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Anyway, um, they're also on there, besides the MPOX thing, I just put that on there, it's kind of, I mean, it's not funny to me, it's sort of funny. It's kind of funny. It's funny in semantic history that this We're is We're not going to call it monkeypox. It's just, it's funny that, it's M-pox. it's funny that racism shows so much through that you can't even name a virus after an, an animal. Do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's funny. That's it's funny. sad. But it's also funny. <laughs> We're not going to call it monkey box. So they're M-Pox now. But anyway, uh, the other thing that was on the news, was, uh, Todd and uh, Julie Chrisley. Uh, have you ever watched the Chrisley Knows Best? Have you ever watched that before? It's trashy. No, dude, Listen, don't get me wrong. Dude... It's fucking trashy, okay? Oh, it's man. trashy TV. You want to talk? It was on USA Network. It was trashy fucking reality television, clearly scripted. However. That dude scares me with this obviously however, fake-ass teeth. My mo- yeah, he's got so much plastic surgery. His face is wild. He's clearly seems gay, but whatever. He's closeted. Right. Yeah, but right. that's that's well. Every time I talk to my mom about it, that's all she said. Anyway, Todd Chrisley, Julie Chrisley, the Chrisleys, Chrisley knows best. The family. Okay. I watched my favorite reality TV show ever of all time is The Osbournes. Okay. Sharon. Yes. Sharon's a part of the the fucking men's Yeah. Where's the dogs? Anyway, so that's that is that first season uh, is the best season of reality TV I, I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Okay. Okay. I would get the same vibes from Chris Lee Knows Best as the Osbournes when I would watch it, and so some of it was actually pretty funny. Okay. Okay. Most of it was kind of trash and garbage, and it was just stupid, and and just you know, it was like, why am I watching this? It's so yeah. stupid. But sometimes they would like do funny things. They would say funny stuff. They'd make fun of each other, and uh, he would be like a dad. He appeared to be like a dad who really cared and would like rip on his kids a lot and like punish them a lot. And like that's funny to mm-hmm. me. I love fucking when kids go through torment. Yeah, of course. So of course. Anyway, but yeah, so uh, yeah, they're getting fucking sentenced to jail. She's going to jail oh, for seven I... years. He's going to jail for twelve. Why? Tax evasion. <gasps> Among other things. Dude. Yeah, wire fraud, tax evasion, insurance fraud, all this different kinds of shit. Crazy. Yeah, they they've got they were found guilty months ago, but they just gonna, got sentenced. They just got sentenced. He's gonna get his uh, ass pounded. <laughs> yes. And he's gonna like it. He ain't gonna have any fake teeth left. Speaking of trash television, I've been watching this show on Netflix called The Ultimatum. Okay. Have you seen it? Have you heard Are of you it? Are you going to recommend it? or? No, I'm not. I mean... Okay, you know, tell me about it. If you have a bunch of time to kill, yeah, sure, watch it. It's trash television. Trash television. It's, uh, say, say you and I, mm-hmm. right? We're a gay couple. Yeah. But there's no gay couples on the show. Okay. Uh, I guess to make it work out. But so say you and I are in a relationship. I want to get married. You don't. I say, well, you're either going to marry me or you're going to marry one of these other broads on this Netflix show. We're going to go. 
What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so it's a bunch of couples. Mm-hmm. One of them wants to get married. The other one doesn't. Yeah. And so it's a bunch of couples, and they just date each other okay. for a couple of days. Okay. And then at the end of the couple of days, they have a dinner, and it's like you get to choose that you choose somebody to spend the next three weeks with. Okay. And you can either pick your partner. Okay. Or you can pick a new person, somebody else. And when I t- I put it on because I was like, yeah, like I'll just have background noise, like yeah. fall asleep. Yeah. And I was doing this. I was like, just doing this. Like, here. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. What the fuck? By the end of it, by the end of the first episode, they have the dinner, right, mm-hmm. where they choose like who they spend the next three weeks with. Mm-hmm. And this one guy stands up and he's like, "I'm gonna pick this girl," mm-hmm. and she's like. No, I like I, I I came here to like make my man see that I was the one for him, blah blah blah. Oh shit! And then her man stands up and is like, "Okay, I'll marry you." And they get they get engaged. Oh shit! And then the next time, guy stands up and is like, "I want I want I don't want to be with my girlfriend. I want I want to hang out with this girl." Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, sure. Like I'll hang out with you." Okay. And then that girl's boyfriend stands up and he's like, "What I the can't, fuck? I can't allow this. What yeah. what's going on?" Marry me. You have to marry me. Oh, no. And she's like, okay, sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. So I'm not recommending. Just throwing it. around fucking engagements all willy nilly. Like yeah, that. but oh, you sure. brought up trash television. Yeah. And I watched that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is. Yeah. Cra-. But it, it holds me, man. Oh it holds God. me. The gossip is crazy. Yeah. And the bitches are hot. Bitches are not bad. <laughs> they are not bad. The one <laughs> looks like a horse, though. Yeah. And she got mad that one of the dudes told her that. He was like, I don't find you attractive. And she's like, you're weird as fuck. You're weird as fuck. And he's like, I'm just tr- not trying to waste our time. We only got like two days to date all you bitches. And you're not mine. And she's like, I know, yeah. That sounds like a high pressure situation. It makes me nervous. Yeah, everybody is like, I don't know why I did this. That's just my girlfriend. She's so hot and everybody wants to fuck her. Like, I can't believe that. <laughs> anything like that. I would never do anything like that. We still have to get on Jeopardy, though. Or Wheel of Fortune. Dude, Family Feud. Family Feud. I'll, I'll do we Wheel said this of Fortune, We're repeating too. ourselves. <laughs> People who annoy you. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Naggers. <laughs> Jesus, Evan. Um, what? No, nothing. People that nag you. No, it's all good. It's all good. That's the answer. Unbelievable. Let's see. What time this is it? Guy. I know. We're at about an hour. Oh, no, no, you're little good. Over. I'm just at something. It's okay. 3.40. All right. I think that's all I got really for uh, MPOX. I mean, uh, news. You ready? Ready to go out of here? Let's get some recommendations. Ready to roll. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. What are you doing, bro? Come on. I know. Come I'm on. sorry. I'm sorry. Come <laughs> on. Smack yourself a little bit. <laughs> a little, splash some cold water on your face. What the fuck are we doing? You don't always yawn because, you know, you're tired. You yawn sometimes because you need oxygen. You yawn sometimes. I'm not breathing. You right yawn sometimes because okay? you're on mushrooms. I'm not, though. No, I know. I'm just saying. I would. All right, let's no, go. no. Let's go. Let's All go. right, let's go. And that was the news with Evan and Drew. Yo, yo, how it be? Yo, yo. All right, so to kick things off before recommendations, I got a little clip for you. Okay, I'm ready. Hit it. Let me show y'all boys something. Take video of this, Steven. Look, look, you see this bush light? (laughs) Bitch, you shouldn't come here unless I get here tonight. (laughs) Hang on, wait. (laughs) Get a video of this, Stephen. Oh my God! Bitch, you shouldn't come here <laughs> unless I get head tonight. <laughs> oh, fucking man. gold, bro. That is funny shit, dude. The TikTok is like a treasure trove. So of that good, bullshit, man. Dude. So good. Oh God, what a great clip to play before recommendations, sir. I thought so. Yeah, thank that you. That was good. Thank you. So, um, uh, I I have my. Do you know what you're gonna recommend, or do you want to no. go? For, you want to go first? I'll go first. You can go first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's a it, what I'm gonna recommend is a show, kind of like a a regurgitation. Okay. However, um, it's on Netflix. It's been pretty popularized lately. It's called Wednesday. It's okay. about Wednesday Adam. It's like an Adams. It's like an offshoot of the Adams family. 
tells a bit of the story about her or whatever by herself. And uh, however, um, they have some really good actors and actresses, and they have uh, Tim Burton directing it. And it's got really good cinematography, really good photography, real good. Everybody acts creepy in it, and it's really good. Like, okay. even like from the opening episode, there's a scene where this guy gets dropped off by this lady from a pickup truck, and he goes around, and grabs his bag out the back, and she's like, "Hey, you got to be really careful out here." And she just like turns her head back to go drive. And I'm like, "It's got to be like it's it's on purpose. It's got to be on purpose." And like later on, as you watch, there's like other creepy things and people like looking around like when scenes end and people turn like. The way they did it, it's so good. It's fucking creepy, dude. It's fucking awesome. See, my girl just watched the whole thing without yeah. me. And okay. I was like, that's fine. You can watch it without me. Like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a real interest in watching it. I didn't either honest. until my daughter was like, I want to watch it. It's like, uh, you're a little young, but... I heard it was I'll... pretty graphic. It's Yeah, it's like PG-13, essentially. Yeah. Imagine that. It's not like so gory, bloody, but there's some violence and there's mm. some scary stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but once my daughter would it like piqued my interest, I was like, oh, let me check this out. So I started watching. I was like, this is good. Like, and you can just tell it's Tim Burton. Uh, Catherine Zeta Jones uh, plays Morticia. Um, Luis Guzman, uh, Luis Guzman plays um, Gomez. Gomez, yes, thank yeah. you. And it's just good. It's yeah. I liked, it. and they keep it going, and they bring enough characters, and it's a lot of episodes. I didn't finish it yet. I didn't finish it yet. But I would recommend checking it out. The first few episodes are really good. They hooked me. Okay. So I'm going to okay. continue to watch it. Excellent. I think it's like eight or nine episodes or something like that. There's eight of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight. There you go. So that's my recommendation. Check it out. That's nice. a little late for Halloween, but. Nice. It was great. And the actress that's who's. So and the uh, the actress who plays Wednesday, uh, her name is Jenna Ortega. She's from a Disney show that my kids watch before. Oh, okay. Called like Stuck in the Middle or some shit like that. Stuck in the Middle. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So uh, yeah, maybe good. I'll check it out now, Drew. Now yeah, I think you I should. I think blessing. you would. I think you like it. I think you like it. All right. It just looks good. Like it just looks good. You could tell it's. Like, I like stuff like that. Even could, it's not, and it's not like so creepy that it's like an Adams Family movie. But it's so, Tim Burton, right? But it's like kind of like more, kind of like more new like age kind of feel to it. A little bit cleaner. Yeah, I'm a, his, like, I'm a little forgiving of movies if they're not as good. If yeah. they and it's a TV. Really it's good. a series. You gotta remember, yeah. it's a series. It's yeah. not even like so. Take it for what it is. It's not a movie. It's a series. You know. Okay. But all right, let me go check it out. It's very contemporary. It's very like that's the feel I get. It's mm -hmm. like contemporary. Yeah, it's good though. I liked it. I like. I liked it. It was all good. Right, hey. Maybe I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right. Anyway, what do you got? You got anything you think of? Uh, do I? No. I mean, no. I haven't had a whole lot of time. For stuff, I, what I have been doing, I've been playing Madden. Okay. But uh, <laughs> download Madden M, uh, Madden Twenty Three to yeah, your yeah, Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. But um, what was it? I I've been watching Curb Your Enthusiasm. Really? A lot in my free Good time. Good for you. And that shit is so funny. Mm -hmm. So watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Start okay. from the beginning. Just keep watching. Okay. Dude just doesn't know how to shut up and talks himself into trouble. And it's hilarious. Mm. Okay. Makes me feel like I'm looking at my future. <laughs> That's going to be you. Are one of those cans empty? They're both empty. Did you fart? What? Did you just fart? No. You sure? These mints. Okay, listen. I want to spit my mints out because I'm about to read an email to you in just a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I took three mints for some reason. And I'm doing a podcast like a fucking idiot. And so I was going to spit my mints into the can because I don't know what else to do with them. I don't want to put them in the ashtray because who knows what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah, spit them in the can. And I don't want to chew on them because they hurt my gums whenever I chew up the mints because they're so intense. So just help me. I have sensitive gums, okay? <laughs> I got to the dentist twice a year. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, so, what, so what's your recommendation? <laughs> Curb your enthusiasm. That's right. Any season in particular you're watching right now? I'm on two right now. And just okay. All right. mm -hmm. I'll check in with you in two weeks and see how you're feeling. One of one of the episodes. I'm just going to had me minutes. text Kate and I was like, "This is us." In mm -hmm. Ten years. Because mm -hmm. he was at home. Larry's at home watching the Giants. Yeah. With on on the phone with his buddy Richard Lewis. Mm -hmm. 
and his wife comes home from a four day vacation, <laughs> but it's the last two minutes of a playoff game. Yeah. So he's like, he's like, oh, how was your trip? <laughs> oh yeah, no, no way. And just well, and he's like, it's the last two minutes. It's the last two minutes, and she storms off all mad. Oh my god! Because she can't get two minutes of his time. That's so funny. Like, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, but it's the last two minutes of a game. That's rough. It's the last two minutes of a playoff game. I'd be like, bitch, shut up. Just give me a minute. Just shut up. Hold on. I'll talk to you in two minutes. Yeah, okay. Let this fu- let this pay- let this play out. Or I would pause it because I have DVR. Just like, beep. You wouldn't pause it. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Who are we kidding? Uh, I wouldn't pause it. No. Um. All right, cool. All right, very good. But okay. All right, check out, check out some Curb Your Enthusiasm. I do have a clip. I got one more clip for you, and then we're going to hit the email, and then we're going to hit the road. Hit All it. right. Hit that shit, bitch. I didn't mean to call you a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. I read a news article about obesity. They said they're thinking about putting microchips in obese people's brains. It shocks them every time they think about food. I was like, if we have that kind of technology, I feel like we should be using that on pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we wasting that on chubs? <laughs> I don't care about your candy intake. I'm worried about your candy output. (laughs) Priorities, people. Eat all the cupcakes you want. Just don't touch little Debbie. (laughs) Just don't touch little Debbie. Yeah, he's a genius, dude. If we have the technology, why don't we use it on pedophile? (laughs) He's a fucking genius. I love Mark Norman. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I I wanted to squeeze that in there somewhere. I saw that clip uh, the other day when I was prepping. I was like, I got to play that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's the fucking man. He's touring. Go see him. He just got married. Um, to you? No, but it's been great podcast content lately because uh, he does a podcast with Joe List called Tuesdays with Stories. Um, and it's arguably one of my favorite podcasts right now. Um, and he's been recapping. The last one they just did, they just recapped uh, his wedding. It was in New Orleans. And there were so many comics. There was like 20 comics. And that's, you know, I love that shit, dude. Yeah. All about the stand-up comedy and the podcasts and they all have their own thing, and then he was just telling the story about like the day to day, like how to go, like to the ceremony, to the, you know, the, uh, the rehearsal dinner and everything. It was it was cool. It was really cool. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So um, we, uh, you know, we always used to preface every show with saying the email. I didn't say it this time because I wanted to wait for now. But mm-hmm. um, you know, we have uh, the opportunity here if anybody writes the show we like to read it you know if you have a question uh, we've gotten questions before gotten stories before we've gotten video clips from stories um <clears throat> and uh last week i shared a, a story that was kind of sad uh, you know that my friend uh it was kind of awkward and sad uh that my friend told me and then so he, he was like dude i got i got a couple of them man so i was like well just write in so he's like, okay, he's the anonymous dater now and he wrote us an email okay that's how he signed it okay so uh, you know, and if you want to hit us up, uh, the letters I am fine, everything is fine at Gmail um, is our email. Uh, send them in. We'll read it. We like to, if you have one advice, if you want, I mean, we'll we'll take anything, dude. Call us shit, pieces of shit. We'll tell you why we are. Pieces of shit, <laughs> buggers. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, ready? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, uh-huh. here we go. Okay. So it says, one night I made an unlikely, hold on, let me move this a little bit. There we go. One night, I made an unlikely match on Hinge. I op- Okay, so he's like on the dating apps and stuff. Okay. okay. Uh, I opened the notification, and I had matched with someone physically way out of my league. Cute face, girl next door vibe with huge boobs and an amazing body. Very successful woman, too. Um, had her own place, not just in Rittenhouse Square in Philly, but on Rittenhouse Square. Like, holy shit, yeah. Uh, naturally, I was excited, but I knew I'd get ghosted immediately. Who cares? I don't give a hoot. Uh, Starting the next morning, uh, we chit-chatted all day, he says. Chit-chat, chit-chat, chit-chat all day. Later on that evening, while I was at happy hour having a couple whiskeys with my friend Bocce Ball Frank, uh, suddenly she makes a move. She has been talking all day about how much she loves cuddling. She said she doesn't sleep well unless someone is cuddling with her. Oh. Well, I'm thinking I'm... I'm just the creep for the job, he says. (laughs) She invites me over, but says that there will be no sex, just cuddling, and then bedtime. Uh, so he tells his friend, uh, you're not going to believe this, but this hot chick wants me to come over and to cuddle her to sleep. Uh, his friend tells him, well, what are you still doing here? Uh, he said he doesn't want, uh, to just leave and go hang out with some random girl, but you know, 
Leave. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Leave. So he Ubered straight there. He says, her building had a fancy doorman in a butler suit who opened the door for me. I said, I'm visiting here at 1409 or whatever her apartment, apartment number was. He said, Dan. And he grinned. He took me to the elevator and hit the button for her apartment for me and said, have a good night. She greeted me at the door. Yeah, so fucking wild, like a doorman. She greeted me at the door. She greeted me at the. (laughs) She greeted me at the door. We exchanged pleasantries. Then we sat at her dining room table and had a couple beers. I noticed a litter box in the corner, which was a real disappointment for me with my cat allergy. (laughs) It wouldn't be more than twenty minutes before I'd be snotting up all over her fancy furniture. I asked uh, if she had a cat. She replied that she did, but it passed away a little over a year ago. Uh. Flabbergasted, I tried to think of anything to say. Uh, besides, then why the fuck is there a litter box? Oh, here good, because I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> she uh, said she just couldn't get rid of the stuff yet, and uh, yes, there was a litter box. Uh, there was litter in the litter box. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, so why didn't I leave right then, you ask? Psh, you know why. Uh, eventually, she asked me if I was ready for bed. I said, Absolutely. And without awkwardness or hesitation, we got into her bed or got into her bed in our underwear like we had been dating for years. She put on a cooking show to fall asleep to. We cuddled a bit, which turned into a little necking and some heavy petting for a few minutes. But true to her word, she said, we have to go to sleep now. She turned over into a little spoon position and that was it. In a couple minutes, she was completely asleep. I said to myself, what the fuck? <laughs> There was no way I was going to fall asleep anytime soon, so I wiggled out of bed, checked out the apartment, I went into the bathroom, had a nice pee, and after I washed my hands, I opened the medicine cabinet. I saw a second toothbrush and men's deodorant. I started to bug out. I looked in the shower, no men's stuff. Okay, so either she had some men's deodorant from when her dad visited recently, or she had a boyfriend and had hit everything but had had forgotten about this in the medicine cabinet. Hmm. Uh, he says his mind started to race. I immediately went into the craziest thought, which was, what if she did this to get back at her boyfriend or something? And she was planning on getting caught on purpose. That's what he was thinking. Uh, she'd get caught with another man in bed, but would not have to actually have sex with him. And it all made sense now. So I went back into the room, grabbed my stuff, woke her up and told her I wasn't going to, uh, I was going to go because I couldn't sleep. I got the F out of there, made sure to say uh, a lovely good night to her butler on my way out. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. So fucking rich women trying to pull you into cuddle, dude. You want, would you do that? Would you do that if you were a single guy? Yeah. Yeah. Would you just be like, sure, just come over and cuddle? Sure. Yeah. I mean, what got enough, she, you got enough love to just spread. You're I just, mean, what does she look like? He said she was gorgeous. Not gorgeous. Said like a next door kind of type. Big boobs. Great body. Cute face. I mean, rich, I'd have to see if she's rich my AF type. dude. Rich AF dude. Rich AF dude. Yeah, but like... Chit-chat, 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 he says. What was it what he thought it was? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. But he was worried he was caught up in some shit. Well, I would have stayed to find out. What the fuck? Really? Well, because like you see a guy's deodorant. It's like, hey, do you just like the way this smells? (laughs) Is this better protection? Maybe just somebody else who she matched with left it there. What's the second toothbrush for? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. And then she could be like, oh, well... It's just somebody else that I matched with left it here. Oh, how recent was this? Oh my god! Oh, so you're, you're not pure. You're just cuddling with guys every night. Different guy every night, huh? You're just cuddling. Is that what this is? You're just a cuddling whore. I'm just Tuesdays cuddles. <laughs> I'm just Tuesdays cuddles. <laughs> what is it like the underwear? Will you wear for days of the week? I'm just Tuesday. Uh, this Tuesday was Evan and Drew's Wednesday. What's this? What's this? Oh shit. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would kind of be similar. I'd be open to it, but if I saw what he saw, I would do the same thing. I'd be like, uh, I gotta go. I don't feel good. I gotta leave. I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants. Yeah, I'd probably be like, Yo, whose house am I in? I don't know. It's just weird. Is it hers? Is it her weird. brother's? You never know. Is she sleeping with her brother? You'll never know. It's crazy to think, like, if you sit there and let's say you're just driving, okay? Let's say you're just at an intersection. It's pretty busy. Okay. Stop traffic on opposite to you. You know, and you're stopped, and you're just watching traffic go by at an intersection. Each car that drives by, that's somebody with a separate life that's mm-hmm. working a separate job that has separate worries and separate, you know, medical things and separate family members. Or and, are they programmed? Are they birds and they're not real? <laughs> Maybe they're just in 
<laughs> They're just there to give you the illusion that you're not alone. Drew. What was that fucking movie with Jim Carrey? Truman Show? Truman Show. I remember watching that movie when I was young because it came out and I was like an adolescent or like a, a preteen when that came out. And I remember thinking to myself, yeah, it's all fake. It's all fake. This is all not real. <laughs> Nothing's real. Yeah. For like the first couple of days after I watched the movie, I was like, this is all fake. This isn't real. I don't know. The, I'm trapped in somewhere in there. I'm James trapped in a movie Cameron studio. sitting in the bathroom yeah. going like three and a half hours. We're yep. an hour and 20 in. Yeah. It's a three and a half. <laughs> Turn it up in my cans. Turn it up in my cans. I can't hear it. Did anybody pee yet? <laughs> Did you guys bring the enemas? Um. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, when I was younger, that's what I thought. I was like, okay, yep, this is all fake. Like, like I said, like right after I saw that movie, because it is. I know. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty much is. You know, real, really. Girls just want cuddles and no sex. What? Never heard of it. <sighs> no, Never heard of it, baby. Know, that's very weird. But I mean, hey, listen. You know, at least you know what you like. We live in a world where you can get it. You know. Yeah, you can order brides online. That's true. Direct from Russia or China. <laughs> No, there's a ban on Russian brides now. Damn. I'm just kidding. I didn't know that. I made that up. But anyway. Did uh, you make it up or did you try to buy one and got bargoed? How did you know? No. Um, if you want to write us an email. Thank you. Write us an email. If you want to write us an email and you're a Russian bride and you want one of us to marry you, we can. And it's probably going to be Evan because he's not married yet. So he's going to marry you. It's not going to. You tell that to my girlfriend. She'll, she'll be fine with it. Uh, Kate gets to keep the uh, the dowry from the, from the marriage. She gets nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> one tuck, one no tuck. Okay. Anyway, all right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good to see you. Love you. I miss Always you. good to see you. All right, be safe, everybody. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.